Blessings everyone, it's Denisha Gale and I'm back with another video. So today we are gonna be getting into my skincare routine. If you're from Instagram, a lot of people have been asking me about my skincare routine and you know how I maintain um, the pigmentation in my skin, how I maintain it being moisturized and also how I keep acne away and all of that stuff. One thing that helps you with your face, that helps you with the overall health of your face and also the overall health of your body is drinking water. You have to make sure you drink your water. Drink your water every single day. Don't go a day without drinking your water. At least drink a half a gallon a day. If you can go a gallon, do a gallon. But um, a half a gallon is good as well. Let's get into the video. We are gonna start off with my homemade turmeric mask. So I got my turmeric mask in here. I put it in a mason jar how I store it and then I make sure that I have myself um, a brush y'all might see paint on it because this is actually an old paintbrush that I'm using that you know I cleaned and I sanitized so I'm about to get some turmeric out of here turmeric face mask that I made myself it does my face good every single day every day do my face good make my skin clear Make sure I get everywhere. that you put some on your neck too so that the skin tone can be even on your neck and this is something that turmeric helps with it helps with evening your skin tone and just overall giving you a glow and that's it now you guys have to wait for it to dry so if you guys do take on this um skin skincare routine which i do recommend because it has been doing my skin really really good now when it comes to my skin um i never really had i never really had and i i just go like this i just make sure that i fan it or else i'll be waiting forever for it to dry i never really had a problem with like acne on my face or anything like that but one thing i did have a problem with was dead skin cells on my face so it'll make my face like i'll get dead skin cells around between my eyebrow or i'll get it like right here around my mouth or around my nose right here or the tip of my nose right here dead skin cells so to remedy that i was like why not make a turmeric clay mask and also with the turmeric clay mask which i'm gonna put on next is um i made a face scrub a facial scrub my own facial scrub mix it up because when it's just sitting down there and it's no good <laughs> so this is what I'm gonna be putting on next so I'm just gonna wait for this to dry I hope you guys like my hair. You like my hair? I did it myself, y'all. I did my hair myself. And I did a good job. I did a good job. I didn't think that it was gonna come out this good, but I actually did a really great job. I'm proud of myself for it. Rather than go to somebody else to do my hair and spend hundreds of dollars to get my hair done for something like this, I'm just rather do it myself. Saving a lot of money that way. I'm done. Washing my face. And you guys make sure that you have a face towel. And make sure that when you're when you're drying off your face, you don't drag it, that you're dabbing your face. Like you dab it dry. Because you don't want to pull your skin along with it and then you don't want to cause no kind of skin damage by pulling your skin so hard. Huh? 
Yes. Wow, look at that. All right, guys, so I'm about to put on my exfoliant. This is what I exfoliate my skin with um, to get rid of the dead skin cells. And I think it's very important that you exfoliate your skin because the exfoliant will take off the dead skin cells that just regularly be washing your face won't do. Won't do it if you just regularly wash your face. It'll probably make it worse. But dab your finger in it. Two fingers and just put it on your face. Then when it comes to exfoliant, you don't need to scrub hard into your face because the scrub is doing it for you already. Yes, baby, yes. Wow. You have a basketball? Whoa. That's amazing. Amazing, baby. So I have it all on my face. And now I just make sure that I scrub it in lightly. Don't do it too hard because you don't want to cause um, any kind of bruising, like, I don't even want to say bruising, like, you know, like you scrub your face too hard, then you ended up having like a sore, like it feels sore in that spot. So when it comes to exfoliants like this, that has a sugar base, you just make sure you're just rubbing in the areas that you know that you need more exfoliation than others. And for me, that's around area then around my nose area right along the sides of my the side the side top of my lips make sure that you get your neck in the process you guys can see up close and there's no need to scrub around your eye area your eye area has a lot of loose skin and a lot of sensitive skin so there's no need to do that and I doubt people get dry skin around their eye area but I mean if you do, make sure that you do it very lightly. All right, I'm done with this, and I'm about to wash it off right now. Right now. All right, I'm done with that. Face feels so, it feels so soft. Oh, it feels so soft like a baby. It feels soft like a baby. Like a little baby. I see a difference like you can see that my face is like more moisturized and you see that my that my um that my nose is a little bit more shiny um shiny in a good way shiny to where it's like you can see that it's moisturized so we're gonna go on to step number three tres aloe vera i do raw aloe vera i put the raw aloe vera on my face so let me show you guys how i cut it so this is how i cut the aloe vera and this aloe vera, I got it from my yard, from my backyard. My mom has an aloe vera plant, so I cut the sides off, take off the little pricklies, and then I just go ahead and I slice it in the middle, like that. And because I know there's more juice on there, I just cut it from the sides. trying to get all of this juice all this all this aloe vera gel and that's how I cut it and I'll just rub it on my skin like this just rub it on my skin and what the aloe does it further seals in the moisture and if you have any bruises on your face or any sores on your face, it helps to subdue that and decrease that that sore or whatever it is. Like aloe vera, I know as well, is really good for burns. I got a really bad oil burn on my arm a couple years ago. On my arm, on my hand a couple years ago. And aloe vera was the only thing that I used to heal that burn um, I 
just made sure that I changed it three or four times a day changed the bandage on it and I put more aloe vera on it and that was all that I used and my hand healed up in a couple months and then I'm gonna take one the other half and I'm gonna put it on my neck and that's it for step three so I have to wash this one off I have to wait a little bit make sure that you well I keep this on my face for maybe 20 minutes Keep it on my face for 20 minutes. And I also use the, my little fan to fan my face so that I'm not waiting for too long. I realized that the aloe vera really, it really seals in the moisture. It allows the moisture to stay longer. And I heard that aloe vera is really good for your hair. I haven't tried it yet, but when I take these out, I'm most likely gonna try an aloe treatment on my hair. But yeah, guys. Um, Yeah, I'm gonna let this dry and then when I wash it off, I'll be back so that you can see how it looks when I wash it off. So, see you guys in a few. My skin feels so good. I know you guys see that difference. You guys see the difference? And since I started to do this specific skincare routine, um, I see a lot of dark spots has came off my face. Um, yeah, it just makes my face so soft. It makes your, your face so smooth. And it makes your face so toned, so even toned. Step four. I use, oh, oh, almost dropped it. Oh my gosh. Empress Divine Glow Boost Serum for step four. And this is just to set it all off. This Glow Boost Serum is plant-based. Empress Divine, I'm going to put her, um, her website down below. And you guys can go and check it out. This facial serum, Glow Boost Facial Serum, it has aloe, it has rosehip oil, which is really great for your face. It has ap ap apricot oil, jojo oil, walnut oil, sapple flower, and neroli, and rose fragrance. So this right here has been doing my face really good since I got it. And um, let me just show you guys how I put it on my face. And I really love facial serums. Like anything that has to do with skincare, I really love it because I love taking care of my skin. So um, this facial serum, what I love about it is that it's not too oily and it's not watery. Um, it's thick, but it's not too thick, which is what I like. No one likes anything runny on their face. So let me show you guys how I use it. I also put some on my neck. And then just rub it in. And it makes your skin feel so good. It just makes it feel so clean it's a really great finishing touch a really great finishing touch and it smells really good and the bottle is really beautiful so if you guys are interested in Empress Divine um, Glow Boost Serum go on her website it's empressdivine.org and on the website, you can type in Empress Denisha when you get to checkout and then you will get five whole books off your order. Yeah, guys, y'all see it different from when I first started, right? This is the exact steps that I do for my skincare routine. 
and soon enough these products that I've made myself will be available to all you guys because oh that's coming that's coming I don't tell y'all too much but it's gonna be available for you guys soon this is what's been keeping my face nice and moisturized yes nice and moisturized And I'm really loving my hair. Can y'all tell? Can y'all tell? I did it myself. These are supposed to be um, passion twists. Did these passion twists myself. And I did a really great job. Really great job on it. So next time I do my hair, I'm gonna show you guys so you guys can see how I did it for people that are not experienced in doing their hair because I know that I wasn't experienced in doing this kind of hairstyle to my hair. So, but you know, I gave it a shot and I did pretty great. And I know you guys can do great too if you've never done styles like this before. So yeah, y'all, I don't want this video to be too long. So I hope you guys enjoyed the skincare routine, be sharing my skincare routine with you guys. So. I will see you guys in the next video and make sure that y'all comment, subscribe, and like, and that y'all also let me know what more do you guys want to see from me. Alright y'all, I'll see y'all later, peace.